Me and Eric are about to go vandalize some stuff. Hi, sure about this? Yeah, man, just go, hurry. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Laurenzio and in this video I'm going to talk about all 4x4 EVO games for the Sony PS2. 4x4 EVO was an amazing game back in the day. By today's standards, the game might get boring fast. But back then, wow. The game came out in the year 2000. It looks good and the content is solid too. You get 70 4x4 vehicles that you can tune by your heart's content to win races easier. And while visually the options aren't that plenty, I mean you can't put spoilers or rims or neons on your vehicles, this is no need for speed, you can put fog lights or different suspensions, performance stuff. And even if racing is all you do, it's nice that the racetracks are huge and the checkpoints are only for orientation. You are not forced to stay on the road, your goal is to just hit some checkpoints on the way and get to the finish line. How you get to those checkpoints is up to you. As I said, for that time, the game was solid. I mean for that time, the game was promising, but for today's standards, it's a really bad game. It has wonky controls and some horrible track designs and nothing in the game hooks you. Without a solid tournament or something that makes the experience worthwhile, the content goes to waste, because it's not attached to anything really. And 4x4 EVO 2 takes what was awesome in the first game and improves upon it. 4x4 EVO 2 is an awesome game, don't let the graphics fool you. In this game, just like in the other one, you can ignore checkpoints. The race is won when you cross the finish line. This way the game encourages you to explore, find shortcuts and be creative, you even get a free roam game mode, where you can off-road up your heart's content, you can free roam in those big maps. In this mode you can even find shortcuts needed to win races, so that when you race, you already know where to take the shortcut. Exploration isn't the must, you can win races just by racing too, just by staying on the road and following the arrow, but it's fun to explore the surroundings and drive on the big tracks. The game has 30 curses and you get different weather conditions for those tracks. You can drive at midday or at dusk, you can drive on a clear day in various levels of fog or in the rain, and when you put your own parameters for a race, you can even put up 20 laps a race. Also the game offers 120 vehicles. Now that's some crazy amount of content a game offers. And you can tune those vehicles performance wise too, just like in the first one. And the game doesn't revolve only around racing. In the career mode you get tasks like search the desert for a Spanish church, deliver supplies to a remote Alaskan village, overall it's an awesome game that takes racing to other extents. I recommend you try the game.